Hello everybody, my name is Alexis Queen and I will be talking about the importance of spay and neutering for my last speech for public speaking. To begin, I have a question. Which country do you guys think is the leading country in the population of cats and dogs? Asia. That's not correct. You may think it's um, Japan, Korea, it's actually the United States. They have over 7 million cats and dogs that are just roaming the streets currently. Um, so to begin, there are over 6 million of the cats and dogs that are entering the shelters every day. And with them coming in, only to about 10% of them are actually already spayed and neutered that people have already either trapped or released or were pets that got out. And um, so shelters are having to take that money out of their like personal donation accounts and having to um, pay for the spay and neutering before they get readopted out because shelters even if it's county or just like a humane society they are trying to cut down on our population in the united states but with that um there are actually the shelters can't take any more animals in um with like the number that they have regulated by the state so about 1.5 million of the animals in the United States are euthanized each year, which is kind of sad because we could do something about it by just spay and neutering the animals. And with this, um, females, if they get spayed, it actually helps prevent urinary infections and then also breast tumors. And then with the males, if you neuter them, it prevents testicular cancer and prostate problems that they may have and then also typically more with males um, you may see a change in behavior they may be more less aggressive um, and less territorial like with their surroundings and with other animals so when to spay and neuter you may ask so with dogs you can spay them um, you can spay or neuter them anywhere from six to nine months and then also with cats, it's kind of different. You can do it earlier, so it's eight weeks to five months. But it also, it just, it is really based on what the vet recommends with their um, weight, height, and how they're progressing with their growth. And if you do not get them spayed or neutered in between the time frame that the vet recommends, um, typically they'll run into risk of problems. Like I had a male husky and he was never neutered and he would just bleed out of his urinary holes, as I should say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> but to help <laughs> this spay and neuter, you can always just trap and release. You don't have to um, spend a great amount of money to take them into your house and giving them a place to stay. You can just trap them in a cage with some food. And then once you have them trapped, hopefully you are secure with them. Take them to a local vet. They have a spay and neuter a cheap one down in Greenville and then spay and neuter them, take them back home, track and release them back again and they'll already have their vaccinations usually because the vet does that. And then at the, sh at the veterinary center, they actually will like um, put a notch in their ear basically and um, in the cats and it will indicate that they've already been trapped, released, and then, so you already know that they're spayed or neutered, so you don't have to go ahead and try to like, get close to them and see if they're spayed or neutered, because most of those of them are aggressive. And at the, so, from my personal experience at the Col Capital Colonial Humane Society, um, they, we personally, we have, we can only um, have 153 cats in our shelter, and we are at our limit, so we're not taking any more, but we're always trying to get them in and out of the shelter. But we always, um, we have a fee that we have to spay and neuter them. They, our vaccinations are get done before the process goes by and we have to do a, an application to get them out of there. And then they're already become spayed and neutered. So if you would like to adopt a pet, think about your local shelter before you go and adopt from a pet store because you're kind of helping the population more and you're giving them money and it's more money if you adopt through the pet or if you buy a pet through the pet store but if you would just like to volunteer at the 
at the Humane Society. We're always looking for volunteers. You can put an application in online or just walk in and put an application in and we'll get you squared away. So thank you all very much. Thank you for listening.